How's Louise and Ben? Are you all right? Uh, <clears throat> I came through my dad's door this morning. It's Louise's. Came from Peckham, apparently. She's with Keanu, though, right? He's not going to let nothing bad happen to her. He's the one that tried to kill my dad, Callum. Keep up, yeah. Well, why don't you go there? Ask about. I can come with her. Well, you had a wedding to plan. All the sign-offs just got a wit. I'd just say yes to everything. I remember. Come on, then. Peck him, it is. For sure. <laughs> it was pointless. They're long gone. Well, that'd be OK. Things always turn out all right in the end. You keep telling yourself that. But thanks for helping me, Callum. Means a lot. I mean, that owes you, mate. Trapped in traffic, I never knew why that must have saved myself. That'd be because no one else is talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Good to get it off my chest, though. You've done the right thing with your dad. Yeah? Yeah. You can start again now, can't you? Look him in the eye and, and know that you're being genuine. It, I respect it. It ain't easy telling the truth. No. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'll best do one. Yeah, well, I'll go and finish Lexi's story. She won't go to bed otherwise. No idea I'm gonna win it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I better get this knuckle duster hid. Whit finds out I've collected the wedding rings, she'll have us taking them on and off all night. So. <laughs> <laughs> She's a lucky girl, mate. Thanks for the lift. I didn't know no, Nick. All right, yeah, Jay about. Uh, he's on a home visit. I I'll tell him you popped in. Uh, yeah, great. You ain't planning your own funeral, are you? With a stag business. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're, you're coming, aren't you? Course you are. Of course you are. I'll ask for you tomorrow in the Vic. Oh, <laughs> can't wait. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm, there for Ted and Patrick. What are you having? What have you done to him? To who? You know who. Where's Ben? He ain't gonna spoil your night. That's all you need to know, bro. You tell me where he is and you tell me now. I, I saw your face drop when Mick mentioned him. I thought I, I was trying to help. What have you done? He's in the arches. I'm sorry, but honestly, I'm really... <laughs> It's just locked me in a car boot and I've just cleaned up your sick. I'm not drinking alone. We're going in. Let's get it over with, yeah? Come on, say it. What do you want me to say? That I'm weak. I'm stupid, I'm lying to myself. Oh, have I missed anything? Do you know what? You're right, Ben. Yeah, my head is all over the place. And most days I don't know whether I'm coming or going or how to put things right, but that doesn't mean I don't love her. This 
and her are two completely different things. Whitney means the world to me, and right now that is all that matters. This, whatever's happened before, it is over. Because I ain't like you, Ben. I ain't stuck in the past, thinking everyone's against me, trying to fight the world all the time. I'm looking forward and not back. And right now, I've got a stag do to go to. You missed coward. You say you love her, right? She means the world to you. If that's true, how are you going to stand there tomorrow and marry her on a lie? You are going to hurt her sooner or later, and you know that, Callum, because you ain't stupid. You are weak. And you're lying to yourself. And you are a coward for keeping her in the dark about who you really are. You're right. I don't think it's your size, mate. How's what happened? You OK? How about my brother, was it? <laughs> There's a huge queue of people lining up to have a go. Drown in your sorrows. I can't even do that properly. I feel sick. I know, it don't seem like it now. But she's done your thing. Huh? Look at right state. I'll do a bed of roses myself. That's a bit rough, do you? No, no, I wasn't. Sorry, I was um just kidding. Bad of it, I guess. I find it hard to be sincere. I find it hard to do anything but. That's why I like you. 